There's a lot of exciting news to talk about today. So who better to do it with than Paul? In Paul's car. The like this truck. car. This is like being in college in here. <laughs> Drink some sweet tea and smoke a bunch of cigarettes. Okay. Look, go inside. You have no shoes on. Why are you all riding together? Huh? Because she's going to tell me how to get there. Yes. You already know how to get there. I don't know. I might have forgotten. Love you so big. Go inside, oh please. <laughs> Bye. She, she has FOMO. Bad. I mean, she's in, she's inherited it from Mary Scott. Yes. <laughs> so, Paul, I was like, Paul, let's do a news video. And he was like, I have to take sandwiches out to school for teacher appreciation. I was like, oh, I'll ride with you. Libba's homesick. Blair's homesick. Not like sick, but just Blair mm. looks worse than Libba does. Libba's nose isn't even running. Libba said that her nose was like crusty this morning. Ugh. Does she have a fever? Mm, I don't think so. Blair's was a hundred. I tested. Blair did look kind of puny. Heard they suspended this. Yeah, we got lots and lots of news. Lots of news this morning. Down East um, fundraiser is going pretty well. I think we are up to about thirteen thousand. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's exciting. Ryland Jones and I, and then we'll take the money and put it in the Core Sound museum account and the families have agreed that's where they want it so that's exciting oh crap it's a big video emily it was supposed to be supporters mm, well we're just gonna have to deal um while we're on here sorry your girls are sick i know so we i need to get mayonnaise and mustard but i can get that at the next dollar store oh okay this one very hit or miss. This Dollar General? Uh -huh. You know, the best Dollar General is the one out by school. By the middle school. They got Mott's applesauce. Is that, fa that's Family Dollar. Oh, Family Dollar. Okay. But, is there another one beyond There's the another elementary one. school? Yeah. Yeah, oh, out by the so middle school. Away. Oh no, I wouldn't go if I were you. <laughs> I just go because I've been driving. I did not have to drive to the middle school today. I was so excited. Because, How did Russell get there? Well, Big Thomas drove. Is John, he have to take the handicap bus? No, he takes. He drives in my rides in my car. But my husband took him out there and then came back and took um, a shower and went to work. Does Blair have uh, COVID? No, we've already had COVID. Thomas rode all the way out to the middle school, which is on his way to Gates County. But he wasn't going to Gates. He's going to Bertie. I swear, I have never known. I just love to sit in the car. Y'all ride and ride and ride. Nobody likes to ride. Who's supposed to take these people to school with broken legs? <laughs> I mean, I can't stand it. I love the school bus. In fact, I'm so concerned. Oh, Old Colony. I've never eaten in there. Have... Where, what? Where are you getting the sandwiches? I've eaten They're their the food. Oh, you've already got them? Mm -hmm. Where did you get them? Food line. Oh, I Fu thought you were getting the them. Fouillon. The Fulion. The food. The Fulion. I thought you were getting them at the Westover. No. That's too fancy for you. I didn't know you could get sandwiches at Food Lot. The Fulion. Where are we the, going? We're we going to, to dog, Lawrence dog. Academy where Paul's. I got COVID twice in one and a half months. In one and a half months? Lori, I bet you just tested positive again. <laughs> well, I called yesterday, called the doctor yesterday, and I was like, Libba has a sore throat. Um, Monday night, I saw like a white spot. It's like strep. <laughs> Dr. I, Dr. Paul. I used to have strep all the time. Oh, me as too. A kid. Bad. I mean, like, I remember one time there was like a nine month stretch. I had it every month. Yeah, it's bad. I got my tonsils out because of it. The first year that Betsy and I were married, I had our tonsils. I had my tonsils taken out. He had, their, mean, he nothing, had their tonsils taken out. No, it wasn't a BOGO kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, nothing says like, hey, welcome to marriage, like getting your tonsils taken I had my out. shoulder, a shoulder surgery when we got married. The doctor, the ENT doctor said that when he took my tonsils out, they just like crumbled in his hand. Ew, that's disgusting. Well, I mean, you know. It's real, people. It's real. So one exciting thing that's not as much news related is the fact that we're, there's a very big weekend in mono is going around. Oh, good. That's what? all we need is mono. <sighs> 
I don't think we're at the point of getting that. Um, we're having a subscriber weekend in Edenton, May 20th through the 22nd. Y'all should learn pickleball, Burton's mom said. Oh, Lord. Pickleball. Mm. Is that where you go in the I know how to box? play pickleball. No, that's racquetball or handball. <laughs> the glass box. The pickleball is what we used to do in our parking lot. We lived beside the parking lot. It's like tennis, but a smaller court. Where are we going? We are going to Lawrence Academy. So anyway, we have subscribers coming from from a long way away. Some people are coming from Canada to the weekend in Edenton. It's the weekend of easels in the garden. So we're going to do a little perusing of gardens, go to the garden party, the coffee shop. We're going to have a private private party there before the embers play. I've gotten the embers for y'all. I mean, this is a big deal. Paul's going to be there. I'm on the board that puts on Boogie on Broadway. He's on the, he's on the, the tails board and the Boogie on Broad board. Both boards. Both very, very important, important boards. It's 145 in Australia. So news. So the biggest news to me this morning was, uh, let's see, is it Russia or Prince Andrew? So there's two Russia news things. Okay, give us the Russia. Uh, well, the one Russia thing I've heard about this morning was uh, the Russian skater that tested positive for doping. So but I talked about it yesterday. So she said she had, she drank out of a glass that her grandfather drank out of and that somehow she ingested this doping stuff. Okay, so her grandfather is taking a performance enhancing doping. Well, it's heart. It's also heart medication. Okay. No, I no. mean, how many old people need to take something that's going to make their heart race? Well, I don't even think that. I don't care if he's taking it or not. How can you get a drug in your system from drinking out of somebody's glass? That's the real question. I mean, this girl's 15 years old. A heart man. She is, I mean... Well... The news that came out today is that she was also had two other drugs in her system. Oh, really? Yes, that's the big news. So you're on yesterday's news. Today's news is there's two more drugs. And one, her mother said for heart, so they're not they're not illegal for doping, but they're known to be performance enhancing drugs. And uh -huh. this physician was on Good Morning America saying that was really a potent cocktail of performance enhancing drugs even though the two aren't illegal, the fact that she was taking all three pretty much undoes the uh, water from the glass theory. And she was able to skate. And they let her skate because they said if they didn't, it would be detrimental to her. What, are they crazy? Okay, so what about this uh, American sprinter? Look, look outside. Yes, that smoked weed last year and got kicked off. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because I talked about this yesterday. The U.S. the U.S. rules, as they should be, are stricter than this Russia anti-doping agency. Russia anti—it's like letting um, racketeers, or it's like letting mafia people make racketeering laws. Like you can't let the Russians make up the rules of what's allowed. <laughs> that right? would be some bad times. I mean. Be like, let's find everybody in prison for drugs, and let's let them make laws about drugs. Well, we don't think drugs. Um, that's why she can do quad drops. And yes. she ended up um, Junks, not drops. Uh, winning gold, or, or but they're not going to give the medals until some kind of investigation's over with. Yes, and I said yesterday, well, that stinks for everybody else. So all these other people, not doping, have been working their whole is off their whole lives to go Done get a what medal. They were supposed to and do. now, because of some 15 year old who, and I'm not, I really am not blaming her. I think she was, I mean, I, I think if a 15 year old is told to take drugs on by an adult, it's hard for me to blame them, you know? Yeah, it ain't any false positive. Are you from Russia? No. <laughs> um, no. International, the International Olympic Committee. They, so they were suspended for four years. So in Sochi, what they were doing is they were passing pee samples through a wall, and then they were exchanging them for clean pee samples. A thousand athletes from Russia at the Sochi Olympics were doping. They even had sailors doping. 
So they had like these. And curlers doping. Urine glory holes or something? Urine glory holes. Yep. Yes. Easy to judge people. Well, yeah, I'll judge Rush all day long. Um, so anyway, so that's that's one thing. She, oh God, y'all are so worried about this phone looking like Paul's driving on the right side of the road. Where are you going? Good day. Breaking up. Oh, I bet we are breaking up because... Oh, because we're in Bertie County. We're in Bertie County in eastern North Carolina. It ain't like you people. Why is he steering on the right? He's not. It is an optical illusion called a camera. <laughs> Y'all need to get out more. <coughs> um, so anyway, so now she's had these two drugs and it's ridiculous. And they're not, they're not like drugs that like anybody would know about. I mean, they're... No, I'd never even heard of them. Performance enhancement. Yes. And I mean, you're well versed on medications. <laughs> I take a lot of medication. <laughs> I give my children a lot of medication. <laughs> I'm sort of like a doctor on General Hospital. <laughs> you're judging a 15-year-old. I'm not judging a 15-year-old. I just said you can't blame the 15-year-old because the adults are responsible for giving it to her. That's what I said. I mean, if, but I'm going to pass judgment. I'll pass judgment on the, on the Olympics. But. For, for letting it go down. <clears throat> yes, but she still cannot be allowed to skate. Because then the Russians will be like, great, we'll just dope all the kids. I mean, no. Sorry. Sometimes if you're a bad parent. The child's going to suffer when the parent goes to jail, right? Mm -hmm. We're not like, well, they didn't do anything. Well, I mean, hello, welcome to Consequences, um, which is a real problem these days. This must be a big video. Yes, it is. Subscriber videos. There's none of this. Me, 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 me. <laughs> me I don't like that. Um, the other big news is we're heading to Paul's daughter's school to take sandwiches to the teachers. The other big news is who? Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, who has had a... He has had amnesia for years about the picture <laughs> of him with the child. Though this morning he said, well, I've never argued that it was me in the picture. I've argued that... It was spliced. It was spliced or that that's my hand. I mean, spliced is turned into like a buzzword. And, and yeah, I got a cue like just splicing. In trouble. Yeah, like that preacher who's now looking for six witches in his church. Preacher Greg Locke. Mm -hmm. He said, I spliced a video. I thought to splice a video, I like think of like porn on VHS. Like you have to go in there and like cut, cut, cut a little tape and glue it back together. I mean, Pastor Locke, I mean, Adrian thought that she was on a supporter video. And you're going to say that she knows how to splice a video? She doesn't. Come on now. She can't even... She's, she's, she has trouble with so many things that she doesn't know how to splice. We don't know how much money she got. It's undisclosed at the time. However... Renee, we're going to do a video after this, and I've got all the details of where you're going to stay on the weekend. However, there um, is like a an anti-monarchy group. Monarchy group? Mon yeah, monarchy. Wait, I it's like... anti-monarchy group. Monarchy. Monarchy rhymes with malarkey. <laughs> it's an anti-monarchy group. Monarchy group. Kind of like monarchy. Yeah. I can't get out. It's similar. Child locks. Oh. Yeah, Pamela and Tommy Lee. That was spliced. This, um, <laughs> this anti-monarchy group, they, um... The Dollar General. Uh-huh. They are saying that they're going to want, um, him to disclose how much he had to pay. Oh. They want to know if it's coming out of tax dollars. Well, it has to be coming out of tax dollars because those royals don't have. Is there a stereo up here? Oh, yeah, look, there is. It's a radio. Yes, he's looking for six. Salted caramel brownies. Oh, my God. You can tell I've started the diet. Ooh, I tell you what. The Dollar General has some good toys. Almost as good as Walgreens. White Play-Doh? Oh, it's got sparkles in it. 
Paul can't uh, find the. Mu uh oh. Where is the mustard? Is there just no mustard here? They have mots, but they don't have cinnamon mots. After your cooking, sometimes what may seem like a senior moment consistent with normal aging could be symptoms of MCI. Maybe I have MCI. Of Alzheimer's. Oh gosh, I don't want that. Was experiencing difficulties like these or other memory issues. Do y'all have any mustard? Okay. Okie dokie. I bet they have some at school, Paul. Do you need Doritos? They got Easter candy up. It's Easter. This is not good. Your broadcast froze. Well, that's because I'm at the Dollar General in Bertie County. I can't find powder denture glue. What? Did you start the Wellbutrin? No, I was going to start it today, and now I can't find it. So Prince Andrew might have to reveal what he paid. I think, I think he's going to end up having to. Oh. We think. Well. And he, um, he gave a sizable donation to... Um, Her foundation. The, Right? Oh, it's her foundation? I think so. Um, I thought that's what I the, heard. The BBC article that I read. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, don't go away. I dropped the phone. Y'all no. aren't wearing masks. No, we just had COVID a month ago. You know, North Carolina masks are on the way out. They don't have to wear them at school anymore. February 21st. And I think um, Indian Taiwan schools is not doing any more contact tracing. Yeah, no contact tracing. No, what they said was if you're exposed to someone, you're not quarantining. You're stuck dancing on my phone. Well, you're lucky. Um, but if you're sick, you need to stay home. They're not going so far to say if you're sick. Just yes, Lee said it's her foundation. And I mean, if that's a nonprofit, that's gonna well. Oh, he'll get a tax deductible. I don't know how do they pay taxes over there. Much less those fools do they pay taxes. Now we're going to the school. If you really think we didn't have a signal there, you're really not going to have a signal. Um, so we got Prince Andrew. We got Russia. Well, so is uh, Russia invading He's, Ukraine? You know, it doesn't look like Russia's going to invade Ukraine. But, you know, Putin has done this every Olympics. He does something naughty with other countries. And it, they actually are supposed they have a truce where they're not supposed to do that kind of thing because they are supposed to have goodwill towards each other. Mm -hmm. What kind of car are y'all riding around in? A Honda truck. It's not a truck. No, it's a he, Honda Accord. He calls it a, a Honda truck. Because it goes off-road. <laughs> goes off-road. I just feel like cars are like a necessary evil. And I Me just, too. Ugh. We said that, and then I went and bought a new car. Right. <laughs> I was waiting for him to be like, you a liar. <laughs> it really is true. Well, I think you need, the family needs one good car for traveling, mm -hmm. is my theory, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you need a car that you can go on trips and feel safe. Like, you wouldn't probably want to drive this car to Miami. No. Because you would wonder, you know. Because I don't have, like, chrome rims and chrome. Tinted, tinted out windows and stuff. No. But whenever whenever I got rid of a car, like the my car that I just got rid of, like I was driving and it started going, <laughs> like coming back from the school. And I was like, you know, I have too many kids to like break down somewhere. I'm just done breaking down. Are you in Britain? Yes, we're in Britain. We're heading to Prince Jolly Andrews. Old Jolly old London. We're, 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 outside of in, we're outside in Gaswick. We are, you're frozen on my screen with bush ice. Paul is driving. Mm -hmm. Paul's driving. We're in Bertie County. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Look at all those birdie boxes. Uh, what are those called? Uh, Martin houses. Martin houses. I mean, oh. there are not going to be any mosquitoes around their house. But I'll tell you what, those Martins will sh take a shat on everything. <laughs> there is some kind of bird that has... 
some sort of GI infection <laughs> because it has pooped on our fence and it. Is it the seagull? I don't know, but it's like black and it looks permanent. Well, our neighbors had a, um, our new neighbors have a Martin house. And I was like, this is great. They eat the mosquitoes. Well, then after we lived there about three weeks and bird doo-doos like dropping <laughs> on you like atomic bombs, you're like, oh my God. I mean, we can spray for mosquitoes like this bird crap. Look. Ellen thinks she knows. The queen is giving him the money. He paid ten million to her and two million to her charity. Now, how do you know? How do you know that, Ellen? That's not common knowledge yet. Ellen, that's like insider information. Yeah, definitely. Paul, did you get your car in London? He did. Yeah. Did not. Do you and Big Thomas have these serious conversations like you and Paul? No. This we, is serious. <laughs> we. What did he and I talking about this morning? Oh, no, we have to talk about boring conversations like the manager of the Homeowners Association. The Pembroke Circle Homeowners Association? No, the beach. If you stop at another store, please find me some powdered denture glue. <laughs> <laughs> what? Terry, do you I've live in Edenton? That. Where are you? I mean, I don't... Powdered if you're a subscriber, I'll get you some. I have a 2002 Honda Civic beater with a heater. That's what she calls it. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to go in and help you take the sandwiches? Mm -hmm. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Virginia Guffrey is a sellout. Well, uh, that BBC article, it also said that they think that the, the payout could be upwards of like 10 million dollars 10 million pounds well that ellen just said 10 million dollars yeah so pounds is going to be even more than that mm -hmm. aren't they about double adrian might be a sellout too love your hubby is so involved um that's not my husband <laughs> that's that's my friend I could, I could never i could never <laughs> We would hurt each other. My, I would love to subscribe and come to Subscriber Weekend. Well, come on, Brittany. Come on over. Okay, people. Paul and I are going to be jumping on a subscriber video. And we'll be shopping for denture, denture glue. Carry on.